Hello everyone, welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. This is part three, of course. We are still in the wine cellar here. We have just had a mental breakdown, because why not do that while uh, someone who can kill you is standing right in front of your face? That's, that's a great idea, isn't it? <laughs> so we still need to find our last um, chemical component, which is what we're looking for at the moment, I guess. Uh, ooh, what's in this room that we're... Oh, is this the... Ah, this... Uh, our handy-dandy monster opened this other door for us. Thank you, monster. At least you're not entirely bad. Why you're laughing at me, though... I don't know. It doesn't seem... Uh, hi? Are we getting more... So many... Like, that's the thing. Like, the atmosphere in this game is so good because there are all these creepy sounds that just pop up all the time. No, mod no matter, like, what you're doing, where you are, there are always... Little itty, bit, little itty bitty things that are just designed to unnerve you. So let's grab this. Now, are we going to be seeing our monster friend again? Or can we just piece out of this wine cellar? I'm going to say we're just going to piece out. Get out of here. So I'd really love to be um, playing Soma, which is Frictional's new game. <sighs> because it looks... It, it again looks exactly like the type of game that I... Oh, oh god. Binch, oh, you, ow. Ugh. Why do you keep exploding on me? And, ow. That. That was. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Alright. Maybe I might need to. Might need to down some laudanum here to increase our health. That's, that's how that works, right? It's, um, ow! God, alright, fine. I'm going to the laboratory. And I'd really love to be playing Soma, because it looks like, it looks like the type of game that would freak me out. Um, because again, like, Amnesia does a, a great job of that, because I am a little wimp, and, uh, just, but despite that, like, I, I still think Frictional makes fantastic games. Um, the Penumbra games are... A little bit debatable. Uh, just because they have... They do have the ridiculous, weird, stupid, silly puzzles. And, um, and the first Penumbra game has a really bad... Well, I mean, a really fiddly and hard-to-use physics-based combat system. In, um, which kind of could trivialize the survival horror aspect of the thing if you get like actually good at the combat and uh and then the second number game gives you like a, a a brooklyn guy as kind of like a uh sidekick character one day i will return if it wasn't for the thought of you my love i wouldn't be able to go on oh i think we already said yeah same same message as the one we saw first time it's fine um but yeah, Soma is, you know, it's like Amnesia, but set in a science fiction underwater city type of thing. And uh, that's the kind of thing that I can dig, because I think that, um, like, I really loved, uh, we... oh, alright, fine. Uh, I really liked um, Rapture in... Do 
You okay there? You having a bad day? Something? Like, I've, I'm not done with this yet. I don't know why you're flipping them. Okay. <sighs> but I really like Rapture, and it's, it's set in the same sort of general uh, environment. Okay, sure. It's set in the same sort of environment, and it's, uh... Except it has more of a science fiction-y sort of story to it. Which, and, and aesthetic, which is what I dig, because I love science fiction. Um, and, like, space operas and stuff like that. Ma like, Mass Effect is one of my favorite, uh... Game franchises. Are we... How long is this going to take? Do I need to do anything else? Turn back off? No? Do I need to... If they're not... I can't move them at all. Can I just... Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoops. Mobby. Again, we're not done yet. Why are you fl... Like, at least wait until I finish the puzzle before you start, like, throwing monsters at me. Come on. Have a little bit of courtesy. There's something you can do here, too, I think. Maybe, or maybe, maybe that was just to show the, um, invisible monster in the water. Because that's, spoiler alert, a thing. Let's, let's drop another bottle down there. No. There isn't any meat around, so we can't... Uh, oh, tinderbox. We can't uh, attract him that way. That's another spoiler alert. Sort of. Sorry. I'm sure everyone who watches this will have already played or seen or... Oh. Find a way to climb it. Mm, yeah. That'll be easy. Uh, can we super parkour this? Ooh, ooh, almost. Let's super parkour. Oh, well, alright. Let's, um... We got some boxes around here that we could probably stack up. To, uh, help our super parkour skills. We've played Mirror's Edge. We know how this works. Except... Mirror's Edge with physics would be... Well, I mean, I, it has NVIDIA physics. <clears throat> but I mean, with like a physics-based movement system like this would be a, a very interesting and different beast, I think. Um, I think that'd be cool to see. Super parkour. Yeah. We made it. All right, what can we do? Oh, we probably use this... Um, it's tough and pliant, but not terrible by hand. Yeah, we can use this acid to break that, I bet. And get out of this disgusting place. Ugh, no, don't explode on me, please. Well, that section of the castle is effed. Straight up. Not going that way anymore. So, um, let's check out the refinery. Surely nothing could be bad down here where we already had this, uh, disgusting organic tissue all over the place. Yeah. It's good. We, we like walking into the areas that are covered in the thing that we're running from. And it's good and dark already. That's fantastic. We love it being dark as well. Let's... Oh. Maybe that was a bad idea. Sure is dark in here. Yes, oh, yeah, thank you. And there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be uh... Or are you What's not going to explain it to me? Why Come is on. It so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. Explain it to him. That you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. 
Yeah, I mean, I want... I still did not get an explanation out of you, sir. I would really like to have one. Are there enemies near? I can't... I don't actually know. Oh. So this is the part of the game where you can actually first die, I believe. Maybe? I don't remember exactly. Um, boy, we are just in the worst condition right now, aren't we? We are having a bad day. And, uh, nobody else cares because, oh, we have a cockroach running across our face. Thanks. Yeah. So that's one of the things. There are, like, sanity effects in this game that, um, happen as you kind of lose your sanity meter there which will change in intensity depending on like how long you chill out in the darkness how many monsters you've stared in the face uh, stuff like that I do think this is I do think this is the first kind of danger location. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. Probably a good idea. I didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect. <laughs> But I'm glad it turned out that way. And well, morning, is that really... Alright, if you're glad it turned out that way, is it, is it really an excessive decision? Be honest. Wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Mm, you could have. A complete orb? Maybe it was alien, though. Because that seems be something that would happen given what we've heard and seen of this game so far uh, it's probably not a good idea to light this to be honest but we may have to for the purposes of our brain juice we uh, don't really want to completely flip out. Let's have this uh, nice hidey hole here. Uh, where's the train? Man, we are just, yeah, completely lost it. I, um, really hope that there doesn't happen to be any monsters running around down here or anything. That would be just a... <sighs> Alright, let's chug some laudanum. That's... yeah, we're, we're good. <sighs> yeah, so that's what I do when uh, I get scared. Uh, I get, I do get jumpy, um, because, because man, I don't like being, because I, f I feel dread and terror, and, uh, this game is very good at making me feel just not safe, um, which is is commendable because this is kind of what the game is trying to do. Uh, and it's like, it's a game. You 
wouldn't figure that uh, it would be able to kind of mess you up like that because it's a video game. What's going to happen? Like, you're, uh, oh, alright. Can I uh, knock it loose with, say, a box? Haha! -ha. Like, you wouldn't expect a video game to make you be able to feel, like, terror and dread, because it's just a video game. Like, what's what's going to happen to you if you get kind of caught by the monster? Like, you're going to die, and you're going to go back to the last checkpoint. Like, that's kind of it. Let's not jump down there yet. There isn't, there isn't a lot of high stakes in video games, because... The most that can kind of happen to you is that you lose progress, and losing progress is not always the like it's not really the worst thing. It's obnoxious, but there are many things that could be worse. Oh. Jeez. Well, let's just let's just chill out here until we um, lose our minds. We we're safe in this corner. We won't be found. Surely. Safety corner. We're we're okay. We have nothing to worry about. It's completely normal that those two doors would swing shut. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. I mean, you could get another journal. There are always more pages. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. That lends credence to the idea that maybe they're alien. Notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. Who into what? I rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the Wait, Will Smith? And we Man, he form, not only did he work on Batman Arkham City, spoiler form, alert, because the final video like of that will not have gone up yet, um, but not only did he work on uh, Arkham City, but apparently he was uh, a geologist in ancient London, well, not ancient, but like 1800s London, alright, cool, He's uh, and now he's an accomplished actor as well, he, um, Boy, he really gets around. I'm shocked that he's been able to kind of live for as long as he has, to be honest, because... And look as good as he still does, like... He's not a vampire, as far as I know. Maybe he is. I don't know. You... What do you guys think? Do you think that Will Smith is a vampire? Would that... Would that be able to explain his, like, amazing youthfulness and, uh vigor in all of his uh, various roles. Hmm. I don't know. Ow! It's fine. We're... We have more laudanum. We're not gonna pass out. Surely. Uh, more archives. He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. I'm struggling to make sense of the situation as well. Great. Let's go crazy. Thank you, Lovecraftian horror game. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Um. I was hoping this would be later, to be honest. I was not... Well, great. 
I don't like this section of the game. Because invisible monsters are not fun. Especially not when you get invisible monsters that chase you. I don't think this is timed. Might be. Are you going to... Mm. Alright, well, book it. Ow. Ah, god, oh god. Uh, uh, I don't think this was a good idea. No, this looks like it was very much not a good idea. Let's just kind of book it out of here as well. Just, just make a run for, oh, great. It is timed. Ah, uh, lovely. Guess we gotta get back there. And hope we don't get eaten. Because I think the thing moves faster while you're in the water. It does. Um. Excuse me. Would you. Do you. Do you mind? Do you mind getting out of there? Oh, ho, 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 you cheeky son of a gun. Alright. Well, we know it's timed now, but we know it also has a fairly length... Oh, God. Oh, no. Alright. Come on. Come on. The jumping in this game is not the best. And there is another one in here, because of course there is. Uh, so one thing to note is that the there actually is a model for this, um, this monster that we're being tormented by at the moment. And it is a ball. Uh, no. Jeez. It is actually literally just a floating ball that kind of bounces along the water. Uh, which is, you know, significantly less terrifying than you uh, might think. Oh god. But then there's this. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can't uh, keep distracted. No. No, you don't want that. You want me instead. Alright. Beautiful. Uh, do I have to wait until you start actually, like, eating it or what? Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Uh Where's the other thing that we need? Don't tell me it's not in this room. Can I... Can I actually just pick that with this? Fantastic. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Invisible monsters. Beautiful. I love them. No, I really don't. The ocean swallowed me whole. Oh, right. We're not actually done. We're not actually done. Uh, I'm just gonna peace out of here because this is the worst. 
Um, can we go in here? Let's just, just run. Just straight up run. Don't stop for anything. Don't keep the lantern going because we have a little bit of light. Don't stop for anything. Oh, God. We have the shadow around us all over. Okay, alright. We're fine. Ugh, I'm not absorbing any of this like background stuff that they're putting on these loading screens either. I, I hope you guys are doing a little better job of, of that. Because I I can't. I don't I'm not not big on reading background info in the first place, but you know, when it's when it's punctuating moments like that, it's like I can't focus on that. I don't know why you're trying what what are you trying to do? Oh, uh, but we have this lovely serene area now with um These beautiful legs with this disturbing neck and face. Uh, can we... Wait, what? Yeah, let's splash the water. We're just playing in the water. It's alright. It's all good. Oh! Well, that was exciting, was it not? Uh, that, I think, will be enough for this um this time thank you everybody for watching and uh i'll see you next time bye